What's good, YouTube? I got the best lockdown build for y'all NBA 2K22. I hit that like button, hit that sub button. I'll show y'all exactly how to make it. So we're going to go 6-5 with this one. We're actually going to go small forwards, you feel me? 6-5. And you don't want to take your weight all the way down to minimum. So being a lockdown pro, you definitely want to be as fast as possible, for real, for real. Being 6-6 six, six on this build, on the lockdown build, it just... It just slow you down a little bit, bro. That's that's all it is. You could get a little bit more defensive badges, but you gonna uh, you gonna have to pay for it in speed. You feel me? And speed and acceleration is important on a lockdown build because that's what you out here for. You feel me? So we gonna max out the speed, max out the acceleration. Your vertical, we gonna go seventy. We gonna rock at seventy. And stamina, we gonna go sixty-five or seventy. Here we go seventy. So the first thing we're going to hit on this build, bro, you feel me, is the defense. And off rip, we're going to not max out the perimeter, but we're going to go up to 95, you feel me. So 95 perimeter, they give you all the perimeter badges that you need. You get Clamps Hall of Fame, Menace Hall of Fame, and you feel me, so on. But your steel rating, you're going to want to max that out, bro. Go to 99. Steels are overpowered right now, bro, you feel me. And... The higher you put your steel rate in, the, the more cheesy, you feel me, the steels is. I ain't even gonna hold you. So you don't have to be at 99 exactly to get uh to get a lot of steels like that. But being at 99, it's like you you in a class by yourself, no lie. It's it's just crazy, bro. You feel me? You get steals without even trying. You really, bro, whenever the ball come past you, bro, you you snatching it, you feel me? The way this but we gonna max out the block too and they give us 23 defensive badges but we gonna put up the defensive rebound so put that up at 83 offensive go to 53 and we getting five more badges we started at 23 right here for a fact so with 28 defensive badges you definitely got enough badges to throw on you feel me your lockdown badges if we had because you you can you can make a build with good defensive stats and everything it just might not have a lot of defensive badges but if you know what to put them on you feel me you still be good but this one we got almost 30 you feel me so you can use it on not just your main uh your main couple badges like you can have a couple caveat badges and everything you feel me but we gonna go to the finishing next and we're going we gonna to get the pro contact dunk. So we're going to get 84 driving dunk. And then uh, close shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Close shot going to go up when we put the midi up. So you're going to have contact dunks on this build. And really, bro, that's not what you're going to be in here for at all. Like, your, your role on this build, bro, is literally to lock down the ball. And... Bro, yo, I'm telling you, <laughs> steals is overpowered right now, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. So, this was, this is gonna be your job. You feel me? That's what the squad gonna need, gonna need you to do, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. And you're not gonna have to worry about contact dunks because your team gonna be doing that, bro. They gonna, they gonna be getting the buckets. You still gonna be able to score. You feel me? You still gonna have a pro contact dunks and everything. You still gonna be able to get off. And you're going to have shooting badges. But, you feel me, your main focus is defense on this build. Your three ball. Hold on, we're going to come we gonna come back to the shooting. But we're going to max out the speed with ball. So you go 89. Your pass that, go 51. And, yeah, 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 for a fact. So you got 17 playmaking badges. And then from there, you're going to want to... Max out your, uh, your three ball up to 79. You could, probably, you could probably go 78 on a three ball, 63 on a mid, rock out like that. So you got 16 shooting badges. And, bro, yo, for real, for real, if you want to throw on, like, your interior rating, I really wouldn't be against that, bro, on this build, for real, for real, because interior do help you lock up you feel me and if, if your man get down there to the paint bro you feel me like you definitely gonna want that help so you could go 
86 on the uh, speed bar, 71 bar handle, and the interior defense 59. If you don't want the uh, out the pass accuracy and everything, but really that's up to you. I ain't gonna lie, cause I can't imagine a lockdown who like a value uh, a higher pass act of nah a higher yeah value a higher pass act but literally for no reason though you feel me because you got you got the bullet pass unlocked already but to go down which is on your speed with ball and everything it'd be kind of going in a in the opposite direction from what you actually be doing because if you do get the ball you feel me you bro you do want your speed with ball to be at something decent you feel me and the pass act as long as you got bullet passer bro the, the difference between a 50 pass act and a 70 is not big at all, bro. You feel me? So, if you throwing on gold bullet passer, you feel me? Then, yeah, you want to go higher on your pass act. But, you good with this right here. And we got the interior defense added on there. And I'm going to put these points on uh, stamina. Yeah, so, we're going to rock out like that. So, bro, you got 13, 16, 16, and 29. On a lockdown build, it's not just, bro. Yo, we not even worried about the badge count on this one, for real, for real, bro. Because your defense is impeccable, bro. For real, for real. But you get the lock and the slashing tape, and that's that's really all you need, bro. <laughs> that's all you need. So you we good with that. So you're gonna go finishing moves. You're gonna go clamps, and you got a perimeter lock. So the other perimeter lock we dropped, you feel me? It was more more of a shooter, you feel me? But this one is just a little more of a lock lock, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. We're gonna max out the overall ray in. So for finishing, you're gonna wanna go limitless takeoff, at least silver, live city, unstrippable, posterizer, and slithery. So that's yeah, that's where five on go. Rock I like that. For your shooting badges, you got silver blinders, high zone hunter, sniper, that's a good badge. I probably would go with limitless spot up, stop and pop. Wait, nah, not stop and pop. I'm tripping. It's the lag down there. <laughs> chef, I mean not chef corner specialist. And I probably would go, oh yeah, we went down on the catch and shoot. Put the catch and shoot up. You could put corner specialist up. And then you could probably rock the green machine after that. Or, nah, hold on, we gonna go bronze on the corner specialist. And go sniper silver. Rock out like that. Bronze green machine, so we good right there. For the playmaking. You're not going to use an ankle breaker on this one, but you need glue hands, bullet passer bronze, unpluckable. The way this feels is, bro, yo, again, you going to want to make sure you're not getting plucked too, bro. <laughs> you feel me? But we could go, uh, you feel me? We got, yeah, we got those badges put on what they supposed to be on. You feel me? We can rock with the post playmaker and then you feel me with the with the rest of these badges you can you feel me just put them on what you want you can actually get uh like ankle breaking moves space creator you feel me space creator will light up for you but uh that's just not what this build for you feel me but we're gonna throw tight handles on too you go like quick chain handles for days you feel me whatever you want to put on but for your defensive back I know this what y'all waiting for, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So, clamps, you don't want to go Hall of Fame on the clamps. That's that's your most important defensive badge, almost, almost, really, because clamp, like even even without clamps, it's not that hard to stay in front of your defender or stay in front of the offensive player. But it's it's really, it's it's really not, bro. You feel me, like. 
it's really just the badges that come with your perimeter rating. You feel me? The clamps is good, but menace, bruh. Menace is a crazy badge, bruh. Yo, you don't be throwing them all out of the animations, bro. You feel me? You definitely want to throw menace on and had that really at least gold, but we're we gonna go silver for right now. You feel me? And I'm gonna I'm show y'all the other badges to put on rebound chaser you can use that but you more of an on ball lock so the big man really might just have to accept the fact that you got the rebound rating and you're not gonna throw the uh, the rebound chaser badge on but you feel me badges like clamps and pickpocket you definitely want to have those hall of fame if you can so pickpocket we're gonna go hall of fame that's worth five points and interceptor we gonna go Hall of Fame on that one. So we got Clamps Hall of Fame, Interceptor Hall of Fame, Pickpocket Hall of Fame, and he's gonna be Menace Chase Down and Run Protector Day. Bronze and Silvers, you feel me? But we good right there. Ball Stripper, you could go Silver on that one. You really don't need Pig Dodger, bruh. I'm not seeing Pigs going crazy, bruh. For real, for real. You just gotta get around them. But it's not like we're at take you into a whole animation no more bruh it's, it's just not like that well i haven't i haven't got no screen set on me you feel me <laughs> that was like that crazy and AP, you feel me but we probably gonna go up on a menace you feel me so go hall of fame on that and yo this is tough bro, for real for real and yo i know yo, even even if you got a build with similar uh attributes or if if you've seen somebody with a build with like similar attributes if they don't put on these hall of fame badges bruh it's it's not gonna be as overpowered as you know what i mean you would think but we're gonna uh we're gonna throw these on intimidator and you could go up on the hustler you feel me rock out like that but you feel me you could have like probably a a 90 a 95 perimeter rating you feel me you can have a 99 perimeter rating if you don't have clamps and minutes on some level bruh you feel me it's it's really gonna be no point bruh i i can't see the perimeter rating uh like changing how you defend out there without the badges on you feel me so i don't i don't know i just don't see the difference rating up i don't see i don't see it helping me defend better you feel me like i just i gotta do that myself <laughs> you feel me but we gonna uh this we gonna rock out with and if you got 13 16 16 and 29 you feel me it's a perimeter lockdown but really bro yo, it's a pure lockdown because <laughs> you got all the defensive stats you need you got interior defense you got rebounding too you really got everything on this bitch, you feel me? But I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. I ain't going to hold y'all too long. Best lockdown build, bro. I'm trying to tell you. You feel me? But I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. Be easy.